Hi guys, hope you're well and welcome to this Army Showcase Commission video. Uh, we have an absolute treat for you today, a custom blue Space Marine Primaris Force. Uh, some really cool models in this. If you're new to Siege Studios YouTube channel, then firstly welcome here at Siege, we're a UK-based premium commission miniature painting service offering four all above tabletop levels from our bronze, which is an above tabletop level, all the way up to platinum, which is competition quality, and all staff members here at Siege are able to paint to those levels. If you're interested in a commission, the very simply we need to do is head to the description of this video where it says get a quote. Click on that link and it will take you directly to the Siege Studios contact form on the website, whereby all you need to do is select the relevant drop-down options for your project from those available and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format. Uh, once you've done that you fire that off to us we'll come back to you with a quote and get the process started. We will be back in a second to have a look at this awesome force in more detail. See you guys back in a sec. So first up as always guys we're going to have a look at the characters from this vast custom Primaris force and uh, they're not all Primaris. We've got uh, a Collector's Assassin there as well as you can see, but we will dive in and have a look at these awesome models in more detail. And we'll start with the Librarian from the Force, uh, the new Primaris Librarian as well, really, really cool. We've uh, obviously gone for the uh, helmeted version. I think it suits really, really well. Simon, who's the painter who's worked on this whole entire project, has done a stellar job across the Force. You can see really nice use of color um, and color theory on this with the red and green to complement each other on top of the, uh, the blue and black armor color as well. Um, lovely kind of leather kind of trench coat kind of like cowler that he's got. Obviously it's got lots of little scratches and details and bits and bobs on it to show texture. All the purity seals painted as well as you can see there. Lovely brush blended weapon as well. Um, obviously that's something that we do a lot on a lot of our clients' projects. You can see all those, those pipes obviously to the force weapon and to his uh, psychic hood have got this kind of like etheric kind of green glow to them, uh, which is really nice. And obviously that follows to his hand as well. So you've got that green glow coming out of his hands. Uh, really, really nice uh, HQ model for your force and uh, in a very, very cool pose. Um, did specifically like this when I first saw it. One of the key things that I really do like about it, uh, especially from a design perspective, is where they've used that kind of like filigree kind of like power cable bit on the sword. They've kept that from even the second edition sort of metal librarians, which is really nice to see them continuing on that heraldry and that kind of look to, to librarians' weapons. Uh, so overall, really cool finish, lovely use of the color scheme, and that's the, the uh, librarian from this force. But every single aspect of detail fully painted and picked out and highlighted through multiple stages, uh, as you'd expect with uh, characters here at, at Siege. So that's just a librarian. I'm going to leave the chapter master to last and we'll jump on and have a look at the Collexus Assassin. Uh, interesting use of purple to show the kind of etheric kind of psychic energy that he's collected or negated uh, through his uh, his helm or obviously the way he is. Um, but again, you've got the little power cables and things that are all picked out in a nice complimentary blue on the skin suit. Um, nice sort of red hue on the boots as well. Just a really interesting colour scheme. The red and purple obviously both complementing each other as per colour theory, which is really nice. Um, so that's just the Collexus. Very insidious figure. Very, really cool. A lot of Tiny little catch lights of white where the light is reflecting on that kind of almost, I don't want to say latex, but almost kind of like sin, sin skin kind of like material that his suit is made out of. Um, but just to show you the muscular structure of the assassin, which is really lovely. So that's just him. And then last up, let's have a look at the chapter master. Now, this is a custom model that our client has made. We, um, we're we not going to take credit for, for the, the, the build of this model. Um, but as you can see, he's used an Age of Sigma. I believe it's a Stormcast Eternal Star Mace. Um, you would not want to get in this guy's way. Um, I'm sure he's uh, he's very fitting the arms to uh, get rid of most things that appear in front of him. Um, but as you can see, using the host model of Marnius Kalgar, but our client has made his own chapter master for his force. Um, but again, really, really cool pose. Lovely additional conversion. That client, our client has done. Uh, when it comes to the painting, obviously you can see we've used nice colours to complement the blue, again along the red and sort of green hues uh, as well with the basing and also on the uh, sort of areas of the pommel of the mace, the, the banding on his armour, the cape, uh, even the um, the crest on the uh, on the banner as well, which is really nice. But every aspect of detail fully painted and highlighted through various stages, nice attention to detail and texture added to the sort of leather, um, leather bits hanging down here in his midsection. Uh, and then obviously as a small freehand banner with a hooded skull to match the uh, other phases that we have done. Uh, I think one of the Redemption Dreadnoughts has got a free-handed banner as well, so if you want to check back and have a look at that, it's on the channel. Um, so that's just that. And then we have uh, Vargrim free-handed on there in text as well, which is, I'm assuming, this chapter master's name as well. It, it's pretty grim with that mace that you're swinging, but there you go. And um, and obviously finished to a lovely, lovely character standard here at Siege. Uh, up next, we're going to have a look at the vast amounts of infantry which are part of this force, and we have some absolutely massive, massive vehicles for you guys to check out so do stick around for the rest of the video we're back shortly to have a look at those in more detail see you guys back in a second 
So next up, we're going to have a look at all the infantry from this large custom Primaris force, uh, and there's a lot of them, uh, all split by different units. Uh, we have some Hellblasters at the back. We have two sets of six aggressors flanking left and right. Uh, at the front, two flanking sets of Inceptors, some Reavers, and in the centre, the Humble Intercessor. Uh, really, really cool selection of models, um, all been painted by Simon, again, one of the artists here at Siege, uh, with loads of really cool aspects of detail on them. So where should we start? Let's go with the Inceptors. Um, obviously, these have not got the... Uh, very unique flying stands that are currently available. Um, these have all been paint, made, made on the bases so that they do sort of look like they're landing and engaging targets, which I think looks really cool. And uh, I think for sort of uh, balancing purposes, they do work quite well as well. Uh, but as you can see here, really, really cool uh, blue, obviously vibrant blue on here with the, the dark hue as well, but obviously with some very vibrant highlighting as well, which is nice. Lovely complimentary silver and black on these as well, which is really nice. Uh, and they have got the full sort of helmets on them as well, which is really cool. Uh, moving around, Simon's done a stellar job on all the edging as well as you can see here. Very, very crisp and clean finish on all of these uh, to a lovely, lovely sand. And that's just one of the Inceptors. Um, I will pull forward another one from that unit just so you can have a look. And obviously this guy's got, you can see the, the helmet is visible as well. But obviously again, same consistency from model to model. Uh, various stages of highlighting on the blue as well just to really make that blue as vibrant as possible. Uh, so that's just another Inceptor. We'll pull forward the Humble Reaver. Uh, again, really, really cool models, as I'm sure a lot of you guys know now from seeing them in the flesh. But again, that lovely, consistent, sharp edge highlighting throughout with complementary red lenses. Uh, silvers have got obviously some scratch work done on them as well, just to show that they've been used. Uh, all the sort of grenades, pouches, and leather and everything all been painted and highlighted uh, with texture as well on some of the leather aspects and gun cases to show sort of scratches and things, which is really cool. So that's just one of the Reavers. Pull forward one with one of the bolters. I specifically loved the front grip on all these bolters. When I first saw them, I thought it really, really sort of gave that sort of spec ops kind of look to the reavers which are really really liked but again you can see all the scratches and texture on the leather there on the pouches the humble grappling hook that uh, they're very famous for and uh, obviously all the consistent edging throughout from model to model so that's just another one there um same again on the other re on the other uh, inceptor squad here uh, but i love this uh, this sergeant model from this unit of three just really like the pose uh, the way sort of like weight is put on that rock as well just really adds to the movement of the model um but again got the uh, sort of space astronaut helmet thing going on there as well <laughs> which is really cool and um and then obviously as you can see all the metalwork and edging and everything done to a set sort of really really sharp pristine finish um, so I won't pull forward any more of the uh, Inceptors. We'll move back and have a look at some of the aggressors um, and obviously here this is one of the flamer wielding chaps um, obviously you can see all the little trinkets and sort of uh, ropes and sort of uh, medals and things are all hanging down they're all been painted and picked out uh, lovely sort of heat bloom on the flamers as well all the skin and facial details fully painted and eyes and everything uh, done on him moving around obviously you can see all of the silver work very consistent with a lovely sheen on it as well and again that really sharp edge highlighting that you expect from us here at Siege uh, so that's just one of the aggressors. Uh, pull forward another one that's got a, a helmet on just so you can see the comparison. Again, you've got all the purity seals and everything painted. Uh, lenses done in that complementary red to really make the lenses stand out against that blue and black scheme that this uh, chapter has got. Um, I don't incidentally know the name of this chapter, but I will find out from our client and put it in the notes. Um, next, we've got obviously just the 10 humble intercessors. Uh, Sergeant here, as you can see, uh, with a wielding a power fist. Um, looks like he's about to smash someone right to put in the right place. Um, but again, you've got the complementary um, red rope done there as well, just to add that narrative and detail to that. Purity seals all picked out as well. Really, really cool blue scheme as you can see from model to model but the good thing is obviously the consistency from unit to unit you know you can move models say aggressors from here to aggressors to here and they will fit in and blend extremely well with each other because consistency is absolutely key with us here at siege um, and again you've got another sort of sergeant here from this intercessor um, from this aggressor unit i get confused with names uh, a little bit of freehand there on the fist just to show like a, a unit marking as well which is quite nice and again that really really complementary sort of blue and silver and red scheme on these models just really works you know probably one of my favorite custom sort of chapters that we've done over the last couple of years and then finally we have at the back um, 15 hell blasters just because our client loves bringing the pain obviously um, we've got uh, we've got some great uh, sort of colorway here with that complementary green as well with the red uh, just to denote obviously the plasma charge in the weapons as well but every little lens like on the underneath of the barrel the top of them on the site uh, all painted and picked out with point of light source and blending on those as well unit markings have been free handed on as well just to sh on every single unit so they all are very easily visible on 
the tabletop as well. You've got the scratches and texture added to all the leather and pouches, uh, bits and bobs of detail on there as you can see. Uh, but overall, a lovely, lovely, super pristine finish. I will pull forward another one just from another unit just so you can see them. I'll pull forward the sergeant actually because he's in quite a cool pose. Uh, again, telling everyone to shoot over there. Uh, black helmet on him just to note him as obviously a sergeant. Uh, you've got all the little details like the writing and text on the purity seals there as you can see. Uh, and again, that unit marking that's been free handed on the, the pad just to obviously show that he is part of the Hellblasters. Um, and again, really, really cool uh, pose on him as well. I do like the way he's like bounding forward, telling people to kill something over there. Um, and that is the 15 Hellblasters at the back uh, and all of the infantry from this very large army phase that we have had the pleasure of working on for our client. We're back in a second to have a look at the massive, massive models that are coming from this force. The Astraeus, the Storm Raven, um, and then a couple of other models for you guys to check out as well. So we're back in a second. See you shortly. So next up, let's have a look at three of the vehicles from this force, Redemptor, Storm Raven, and also Repulsa. Let's start with looking at the Redemptor. Uh, very cool Dreadnought. I did really love this when it first came out. Obviously, massive size increase from the uh, Mark V Dreadnoughts as well. Uh, Simon's done a stellar job picking out all the little details on this guy as well. Uh, little bits of freehand on the uh, purity seals or the writing. Nice little heat bloom there on the end of the barrel of the, of the gun as well, which is really cool. Um, obviously, this, the, all the front little details and lights are all painted as well in a lovely fashion. And a lovely, lovely sort of glazing of darker shadows in on the armour panels as well, just to show the light interacting with those large facets of armour, which is lovely. Uh, the black and blue scheme has been done really well on this. Nice proportioning of the black to blue as well, which is quite nice. And again, those green and red complementary colours uh, for the little details and bits and bobs. But overall, a lovely clean finish uh, in the sense of its execution uh, with the chipping and weathering all done and scratching and a very refined sort of finish as well on that as well. So that's just the Redemptor. Um, next up, let's have a look at the Storm Raven. So obviously the flyer of the force or of this phase. Uh, a bit of freehand on this as well. We've got some scrolls and writing done this, loads of little uh, texts and things that are done this. Obviously half Imperial Aquila on the side of the wing there as well, which is really nice. Um, lovely tint on the glass as well, which Simon's done on this force, just to add a little bit of interest to the canopies of this. But all the details inside the cockpit and also the turret painted with the little lights, buttons, gems and lenses all done. Obviously the weathering, same again across the force on this as well. So you've got a nice subtle sort of spattering of chips and scratches across all the areas of armor paneling. Uh, lovely complementary green little lights and lenses on where the missile pods are and also on the wing lights. Uh, again, heat bloom there on the little thruster. Obviously it's a bit purple and it's just showing a bit of heat damage to that sort of metal work as well, which is really cool. Uh, moving around a lovely, lovely finish on this Storm Raven uh, with every aspect of detail fully painted to a very, very pristine finish. Again, great model. And I really do like the tint on these on these canopies. It just really finishes off the model and also complements as well with that kind of reddish, kind of orish, orange kind of hue to that as well. So next up, let's have a look at the final uh, model from this part of the video. We have one more massive beastie coming up, so stick around to the end. Uh, but this obviously is the Repulsa from the uh, Force, one of the newer marine tanks. Again, it's dripping in detail. Literally so many little bits and bobs of interest on the model. Storage, lenses, lights, weapons. Obviously has all the guns here, as you can see. Um, every single light and lens all fully painted and picked out in a lovely fashion. Subtle little glow on the front lights as well. Really nice and intricate. And then just moving around, you've got this really cool sort of half black, half blue door. Again, mirroring that black blue scheme of the army as well. Same on the rear hatch as well. But uh, every, every little thing has had a massive amount of attention to detail put into it for our clients. So that's just the repulsor from the force. We have one absolute monster still to come. So do stick around to the end of the video because he is coming up next. See you guys back in a sec. So last up, we have this absolute monster of a tank, the uh, Primaris Space Marine Astraeus tank. Um, where do I start? It is absolutely vast in its size and scale um, with, again, loads and loads of detail. Uh, Simon's done an absolutely incredible job on this with all the little intricate little lights, lenses and everything fully painted. You can see them spread out across the hole, all the little uh, viewports, lenses, all those bits, all fully painted. Nice subtle glow effects on all the lights and also on the uh, void shield generators. Uh, specifically, a little green glow here on the lights at the front as well. So if we just turn this around so you can see, um, it is an absolute, absolute monster. Uh, just move this around. I've got to move the camera quite a bit just so you can get a better, uh, better look at it because it is 
absolutely atrocious in the size of its size of it as a model. It's it's vast. Um, so just moving it around, as you can see, uh, loads and loads of really crisp edge highlighting on all the armor panels. Same consistent weathering and scratching that's done across the whole entire commission, uh, and also the other phases as well. Um, the other previous phases I mentioned, there have been other phases of this project. It's, uh, one painter has worked on all of them cons for consistency, which is our standard practice here at Siege. So if you do undertake a commission with multiple phases, you'll always have the same painter working on your project, guaranteeing you consistency and quality from phase to phase as well, uh, just as a bit of uh, a bit of knowledge for you guys out there considering commissions. Um, but as you can see, little shields here on the front as well, which is really nice. There's some extra little freehand details on there as well, which is really lovely. Uh, but again, that nice black and blue scheme, uh, the sectioning of the black and blue done really, really well. Um, obviously, the turret is black and there are wherever there's like a weapon system, it has this black cowling on it as well, which is quite nice. Same again on the main midsection as well. Then you've got the void shield generators here um, with that lovely subtle green glow. If we just turn it around the back, you can see the nice subtle heat bloom effect on those engines as well with that purple kind of tinge to them, heat damage. Um, I mean, obviously, we've got the uh, tank commander there. Um, as if it didn't have enough guns, he's obviously armed with, uh, with a plasma weapon as well. So <laughs> just need to dispatch anything that gets too close that everything else can't deal with. Um, and then moving around, you can see all the little uh, studs and, and, and uh, rivets and everything, all every single one individually picked out as well, which is lovely uh, on the model. And just as I rotate it, just to get it on camera. Uh, I will slide it forward just so you can see the uh, turret and the commander a little bit closer, uh, just so we can get that in there. But you can see, obviously, uh, the nice red and blue, kind of Tech Marine-esque kind of armor color that he's got. Um, red sections of his own armor on top of the blue standard chapter armor color as well, which is a really nice use of uh, split color on him. Um, and again, an absolutely lovely model with loads of detail. You know, if you're looking to really wipe the floor with your opponent, then this is a thing to go for. Um, but overall, really cool model. We're gonna come back in a second and have a look at the whole army again in all its glory, uh, just before we wrap up the video. And if you are interested in commission, then this is gonna be the section for you guys to check out because you'll see all the army again in its glory and you can find out how to take it out of commission with us. See you guys back very shortly. So thanks for checking the video out, guys. I really do appreciate it ever so much, and I do hope you like this custom Primaris Space Marine Force. I know Simon thoroughly enjoyed working on the project. Uh, as I mentioned, there's other phases of this army on the channel, so please go and check that out. And uh, we also have some other phases coming very soon as well, so keep your eyes peeled for that. If you are interested in a commission with us here at Siege, then all you need to do very simply is head to the description of this video whether there's a link where it says get a quote. Click on that link, it takes you directly to the Siege Studios contact form on our website. Uh, complete that contact form by selecting the relevant drop-down options from those available on the form and in the message section include a list of models in our model list format which is also shown on there and broken down for you so for ease of entering. Once you send that off to us we will then come back to you with a quote and get the process started. While you're here on YouTube do us a huge favour and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you do hit the bell icon you will be notified when new videos and uploads do go up on the channel as well and finally while you're in the description there are links to all of our social media so Instagram, Twitter and Facebook. Please go give us a like and follow respectively on those to keep up to date with everything that we do as a business and as a studio. Uh, thank you ever so much for watching the video from all the team and myself. Have a lovely day and take care. Bye-bye.